The find and replace tool in Spine is one of my favorite features to use and feeds into my ultimate desire for laziness. If you want an easy boost to your speed stats in Spine, this is a quick way to do it. You'll find this amazing tool hanging out way up in the top right corner of your tree view. Click this little guy and it opens up the find and replace tool in a new window. We've got a lot of options here, so let's go through them one by one. Start by typing what you want to find in the box here. You'll see the preview window to the right automatically starts to populate with information. This window is showing you in real time all the items that the tool is finding based on what you're typing. And it's giving you a preview of how the items will change once the tool is run. The left column shows what the tool is finding based on your find entry with an icon to show you the type of item being changed. The right column is what the item is being changed to based on the information in the replace box. Right now, it's just removing what we've typed in the find box because we haven't given it anything to replace it with yet. If we start typing here, now the items in the preview window start replacing it with what we're typing instead of just removing it. A green arrow shows you that the change is working properly. A red arrow with scary red text means there would be a problem if the names were changed this way, like if the resulting names would be the same or if there would be no name entirely. These issues will need to be fixed before running the tool because honestly, it won't let you run it otherwise. You can check the boxes on the left to deselect items that you don't want to change. And that's indicated on the right by a white arrow. If you want to select all or none of the checkboxes at one time, you can use these two buttons down here at the bottom. You can also see how many items are being changed out of how many were found underneath the preview window here. So now you know the basics of using the tool, but there's a ton of other options too for refining our search that makes this tool even better. If you check the match case box, it makes it so that way any upper or lower cases are considered when finding the names of the items. So if I type something in lowercase and check this box, it's only gonna find lowercase items. But if it's all uppercase, it will match the uppercase. The first occurrence checkbox will find and replace only the first time something is written in an item. If you check the regular expression box, this will let you use regular expressions in your search entries to do amazing things. I definitely don't know everything there is to know about regular expressions, but if you click this little question mark box here, a window will pop up telling you some common expressions. I really like to use the, what's that called? Circumflex, okay. Circumflex symbol to add prefixes to all of my stuff. If you type just the circumflex in the find area, whatever you put in the replace box will be added to the items in the beginning. You can do the same thing with a dollar symbol to add things to the end of everything instead. The other examples that Spine gives, I couldn't figure out enough to explain how to use them. But honestly, I only really use the suffix and prefix stuff anyway. But there is one other thing that's not listed here that I like to use. Oh, what is this thing called? Uh, a pipe? You can put a pipe in between entries and that kind of acts like a comma. So if I wanna change all of the eye and ear and maybe even hair to be something completely the same, I can do that all at once. Anyway, I've added a link below to some other regular expressions that might be interesting to look at. So if this seems cool to you, then you should totally use it. But otherwise, these three are the ones that I use the most. So next we have the scope section. You have three options here, entire project, tree selection, and current skin. If you have entire project selected, it searches for your item throughout the entire project. Big surprise. Tree selection will replace just what's within the selection that you made in your tree view before you ran the tool. And then current skin only replaces the unique items that are in your skin that you were on before running the tool. So for example here, the only different pieces in my skin are the eye color attachments. So that's all it's showing here. Next up, we have the field section. If you select name, it's only gonna replace the spine name of what has been found. But if you select path instead, it's going to change the image path name. This can be useful if you've changed your file structure and you need to relink your attachments to a new image path. And it can also be a really convenient place to use that regular expression you learned earlier, the circumflex thing. Moving on to the types section, this is where you can highlight what types of items you want changed. You can control or command click on different items to select multiple items. Finally, at the bottom, checking the unused box will show you all of the items that haven't been keyed in your animations. This can be really helpful for cleaning up your spine file and deleting unnecessary bones and attachments, but keep in mind that spine won't recognize if these serve a purpose other than animation. For example, if your rig has bones and a path moved by other bones like mine does. So just be sure to check before you delete anything important. 
If you click the missing images box, it will show you if there's any missing images in your file. If you check show folders, it'll open up a new column on the left in the window that shows you what folders things are in, if they are. Right now you can see that my animations have a folder they're in. And last but not least, once you have everything looking the way you want, it's time to run the tool. You've got two options. If you click select, it will exit the find and replace tool and highlight all of the found items in the tree view. Otherwise, if you're ready to replace those names, click the replace button and all of the items will be replaced with whatever you set the settings to. And of course, if you change your mind and all that, there's a cancel button, but you probably didn't need me to tell you that. And that's all there is to it to the find and replace tool. This thing was a game changer when I found it, so I just want everybody to know that it's there. On another note, I wanted to say thank you so much for all of the lovely comments I've been getting on my other videos. I know it's been a while since I posted anything substantial, but if this new look is anything to say for it, I promise that I have been working really hard behind the scenes trying to set up a nice quick workflow so I can start getting videos out to you guys because there is a lot that I have to share about Spine. I swear it's my favorite animation software, so hopefully you like it. Until then, have fun using the find and replace tool, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!